All right, this is a gelatin that we are applying to raise up the cheekbone, increase the eye socket depth. It's just a little melted gelatin. So it's put on with a application stick here. So we're just going to add some depth. And you can make it stringy, whatever effect you want to add here. Um, we'll come in and change some of it. Whoops! <laughs> we'll come in and change some of this. So you can add it on cheeks. You can put it on the nose. We're gonna. We're just gonna start adding some effects. This gelatin. It's like peeling skin, rotten skin. It's just a little melted gelatin. We're just going to keep building up some areas. We might have to melt it some more. Just a tad, because it's solidifying why don't we go do that so we're just raising making layers okay we melted this up a little bit we can start applying it again Just start adding areas. I'm just gonna have some rotten skin, rotten flesh, just different areas. And build up an area, make some uh, craters or Peeling skin. You just want to start getting it all over. It solidifies real quick, so you got to work with it. Once it's melted, you got to work pretty quick, but you don't want it too hot either. You want it cool enough so you can apply it without burning yourself and then you gotta work it before it dries up too fast so. and we can come back and bring it down We're just raising, making layers. It uh, heats up quick and then it solidifies real quick. So you gotta work this stuff in before you have problems. So we just melted it again and then we're coming back. I'm going to just put it on. Just making some rotten flesh. Get rid of the stringies. All right, that's good enough for now. We can come in with some latex and build up some areas. I'm not going to shave for this one. 
Normally I would go ahead and shave, clean this all up, but I'm going to work around it on this one. Alright, now we're going to come in with some latex. We're just going to start going around here. And we're going to get it before it dries. I'm going to stipple this in just to build up areas. And you're just going to change your skin is what we're doing. And all of this will be painted over. Just come in and get it in your hair. That's the one thing you don't want to do. It's going to be a pain to get out. Just brush it on. You want to just change your whole look of your skin. Now if you're allergic to latex, you don't want to do this. If you don't know if you're allergic to latex, you want to just take a little section of your skin and apply it and see what kind of a reaction you get to it because you don't want to put it on your face and then find out you're allergic to it. You want to do a test sample, otherwise you're going to have problems. And we're just stippling this on. And we're getting near the eyes. Your hair. Just building up. And then you see where we had our little uh, bump in the skin over here from the, the gel. Put our gelatin on so now we got our raised skin. And all we're doing is just changing the, the look of your skin here. And it's good to have two people so you don't have to do this yourself. You just do it on someone else. Or have someone do it to you, and then you just sit back and relax. But yeah, I would normally shave it, get your chin. But we can, we'll work with the hair on this one. And as it dries, just come back over. Just start doing it again. Just start building up your skin, making scabs, scars, peeling skin. Just you want to look, change the whole look. You're going to be dead. You're supposed to be a dead person. So you're not going to have pretty skin. And if we'd have made some more loose edges on our uh, gel, then we could have some more like peeling skin up there. But this is this is good for a demo right now. Let's come back and get some clumps over here.
There we go. Just pulling off the other stuff. So. Alright. We may come back and do some more. That's good for now. We can dig a blow dryer. Dry it up. Pause the video right now. Dry this off. Alright, now we got the silicone drying. We're tapping around. The gel is still tacky, so we can powder that. But we got our peeling skin, rot skin. That effect has come along pretty good. So now, come in and do some painting. Nice and dry. Latex is good and dry. Alright, we're coming in and we're going to do some painting. We have two palettes here. We're going to do one browns and cream and um, just some nice dark colors. So we're going to take some alcohol and we're going to activate it here. And then we're going to start applying. We may have to do some more alcohol just to keep it going so we're just going to come in and just start painting we're doing our base and then we'll come in and we'll do the uh, highlights come in and just do a base of cream just take the natural skin tone out So we're going to cut this off until we get this all applied. So yeah, we're just going to apply this base around the whole thing. And we are going with a color called sand. This is the sand color, so we're just going to come in and change the whole darken it up from the flesh tone so I'll be back All right, we're coming in with a darker color now and then I'm going to go over the whole thing again with this darker color. Just darken everything up. Now I'm going to try acrylic paints too and see if I have any better luck with the acrylics. We're going to just come through and cover everything again with a darker color. I'm not going to do the ears today because this is just a this is just a demo here. But we're not going to get all dressed up. Just an experiment on doing a makeup here. So we're getting pretty grungy. We want to get all the, the natural flesh tones gone. So. We're coming along here pretty good. So I will. Okay, here we are. We're a little darkened up. I'm 
still got some areas to cover up here. And you may have to just keep going over areas and whatever doesn't look right to you. Just keep doing it. Just get your base. It looks like all rotten skin, peeling skin. You're a dead zombie. So you're not going to be pretty. But as you can see where the, the gel was, it raised the cheekbones up. So now you can come in, pretty much the base is done, and you can come in and start going with your darker color. And you start doing your shadows. Just filling in where your shadows may be. Follow your lines, cheekbones. And this is a good part of where you could have a second person so they can take care of your eyes for you. Oh, it's going okay. So you're going to just add some depth. And then we can add some green.
Just adding the highlights. Just bring in some highlights. Just like some rotten. And then this would all be done here. Alrighty, then we gotta add some blood. Alright, well we added a little red and blood around the eyes. We're going with some black blood here. Mixed in with the hair. I could do some nostrils, darken up the nostril, and drip some blood down. Is your neck gonna have? bright blood so we ran some blood around the eyes but we're gonna change it a little bit Pretty much all done. And we just got it clothes on. Darken up some of the wounds. Just a quickie here. He's supposed to be dead, so you don't want anything looking perfect. You dead rotten skin. Well, that's what we've got here.
and then we'd have the neck done. And then we have shadows in the neck, follow your neckline, all your muscles, put the shadows on there. Ears will be covered up. And then we do a, a gel in the hair. The hair will be all unnatural. So that's about it for now. A little bit more detail if I had my Decosta ready, but that's about it. Eyes are just a little red, but you may have to. We'll darken those up some. That's it. Alright, hope you enjoyed.